everyone name tag name tag you know what time it is before we get into that you're probably looking let's talk about something important right now you're probably looking at me and going wow you look amazing you just look radiant you look chef's kiss wow 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 and um yeah so let me tell you why because so Ulta Beauty you know how they have the Kylie Jenner skin skincare line so they had a rep in there who was like doing people's like makeup and their face and all that don't worry everything was like sanitized and stuff so um I went in and she was like showing off her skincare line like the moisturizer vitamin e cream um like a scrub a lip scrub sunscreen a whole bunch of stuff a whole all of that kind of stuff and I I don't know why I went in with low expectations because Kylie really has like really good products like her lip, her lip kits, her lipsticks and her eyeliner and like everything I've used makeup wise has just been phenomenal. So I don't know, I was, I was really happy with the skincare line because it doesn't feel like really on my skin. It doesn't really feel like sticky. You know how sometimes you put on some some products and it's like oh my gosh it's like sitting up there and it's sticky and it just feels gross and let's take this off it doesn't feel like that and let me tell you so yeah i did buy i bought i bought some stuff i did this candle smells really good it's vampire blood from bath and body works i got it last year i love it i didn't like it last year but this year it's i love it it's my halloween candle so um yeah, that's that's why I look so great and her products are just phenomenal. I'm not trying to like sell it, but I'm like cuz on my skin, the only thing that really works is Kiehl's. Like there's literally no other brand. I've tried them all over like the store the drugstore brands to like name brands. Nothing like really works for my skin, so I'm freaking out right now that Kylie skin is really working and it's like a clean product vegan blah blah, blah all that good stuff I, I don't care as long as it works it works nothing else works besides kills kills is the only thing kills and now kylie and <gasps> i'm so happy but you don't you're not here to hear about that you're here to hear about my weigh-in results and let me tell you so i did go to my meeting name tag meeting and um same as two weeks ago again i wasn't I did I wasn't down even an ounce but I wasn't up an ounce I stayed exactly the same so now I'm wondering about these maintenance points like if this because I eat 26 to 30 points a day I'm on green plan and if this is what it takes to remain the same then you like my little fireside chat okay so if this is what it takes to remain like the same then about these added points points maintenance points when if I get to goal like I think on green you get seven extras I don't I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but it's like if I'm eating that would I not gain I don't know I'm really confused about that so we'll see when if the time comes well they're changing programs so really we really will see what happens and so Scott today was talking about a game plan for the holidays handling the holidays and then he talked about sugar which to me was big because I sugar addict I was I think I still am I don't know but um that was really important to me and then he talked about ways to like cut down on sugar he said like he likes the raisin bran cereal so he'll get like regular raisin or cornflakes or something and just add his own raisins so I was like that's not a bad idea that could work and then he talked about like drinks and like how your Starbucks drink has like the sugar in the coffee and then the sugar in like the whipped cream and then the sugar in every like it's just a whole bunch of sugar so I now I'm thinking now I'm thinking that when the new points or the new program comes the way to calculate a point will have added sugar we don't count added sugar but it will probably have to i it'll be exciting like it's getting exciting now seeing what will happen so we shall see what happens anyways he also talked about yeah the holiday game plans and people said so this is one thing that i really wanted to talk about today People said, know the points of everything, track everything, which yes, that is important. It is important to know what you're eating. 
and what you're putting into your tracker and just going in aware and prepared. However, I will say one thing. Okay, so you sometimes that's not the way to go. If knowing the points for a certain meal or a certain treat is going to take away from the magic or the happiness and you're just going to feel horrible and sad, if there's going to be tears, then don't know the points at all. Like for example, for me, it's the Cranberry Bliss Bar that Starbucks comes out with every single year. I love that thing. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know the points. I don't want to know the points. Please do not tell me the points at all. It's probably like a bajillion. I don't care. But I have it like once a week from the time it comes out during the holidays until that season is over for them. I'll have it once a week. It's not going to do much damage. I'm still hopefully gonna get to goal. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it these days, but honestly, I just have eight and a half left to lose and those are the hardest I've heard. So I'll, I'll get there, hopefully. But yeah, see, now if I knew the points for that, if I know, I just love that treat so much. It's a worth it treat for me. And if I go in knowing, okay, this thing's like 500 points, then that's what's gonna be on my head. That's gonna keep me from enjoying it. That's gonna keep me from being happy. And that's the most important thing, like eating this thing and just feeling happy. But if I know the points in the back of my head, none of that's gonna happen. I'm just gonna eat it. I'm not even gonna realize I eat it. I'm not gonna be like, yes. Like, I mean, it's just gonna be a miserable experience. So maybe for you, like that worth it meal, that meal that's so good that you absolutely love, maybe you shouldn't go in knowing the points. If it's gonna, if it's gonna keep you from being happy and just celebrating that time you know it might be that you track every day but just don't track your thanksgiving meal or your christmas meal or your halloween whatever i'm doing that i'm not tracking anything i eat on halloween or the day after <laughs> but yeah you know it's not it's not like no one got into the green seats because they had one big meal you know no one I didn't get into the green seats because of the cranberry bliss bars. Well, maybe I did because now I just eat one once a week. And you know what? I look forward to it. I'll be like, yes, I can't wait. I'm going to have cranberry bliss bar this week. Whereas if I was eating it every day for the holiday season, then maybe it wouldn't be as special. But because I'm having it once a week, I thoroughly really enjoy it. And I don't know the points for it. And that's fine. And I'm just eating it. And it makes... It makes for a good time and that's what we want to have especially this year this year our holidays are probably looking different than last year hopefully and even the year before so <laughs> you know if eat so, and um, this only works for the food that you absolutely love don't do it for just like any random food no the food that you Oh, you're like, oh, yes, I cannot wait. I wait all year for this meal or for this treat. And if knowing the points is going to really mess with you, if it's going to take that magic away, then don't know the points. And that's fine. And maybe that's wrong to say. I don't know. But I truly feel that way. I guess my skin looks lovely. You got to hype yourself up sometimes. Be like, oh, yes. So, yeah, that's what... That's what he talked about. Did he give any other holiday tips? Nothing. Uh, there was like ten, the usual, like, you know, get your 10,000 steps a day. One lady said that she was going to the gym twice a week, no matter what. Track everything. Those types of deals. I don't, I don't know. It wasn't like anything amazing. Oh, oh, one person in a different meeting, though, but Scott brought this up. He said that... Um, he fills his his plate, you know, because sometimes you'll have like those food pushers and then you'll have like, even if there's a little bit of room left in your plate, they'll just like put anything on. He said that he fills his plate with foods that he absolutely doesn't like and he's not going to eat and it's just going to sit there. So that might work for you. I don't know. I don't think that would work for me. I don't know. It might. But yeah, I'm just obsessed with this candle and I'm obsessed with my face. So I'm gonna go be obsessed some more. So yeah, that was it. That was my weigh-in day and my meeting. And that's what I have to say about sometimes you don't need to track your food. If 
don't need to track your food if it's gonna keep if it's like a once a year thing and if it's gonna keep you from thoroughly enjoying this thing if points in these things don't matter and you're like oh that's how many points all right that's fine i'll eat it anyways then obviously that doesn't apply to you but the rest of it is anyways that was my little talk and hopefully here's to seeing a loss next week. yeah i don't know what's happening i mean i have a visitor this week that's all i'm gonna say so maybe that makes sense but next week hopefully we'll see a loss i just love my face today oh. I might, I might have to get like the rest of these products because I only got like four things and she put like a million things. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Who am I? I love it. All right. So I'll see you guys next time. Follow me like this video if you will, if you, if you want, if you want. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.